Bashka Wally. <gasps> Hello? Are you the ghost chef volunteer? Uh, well, let's see what you've got. I want you to make my recipes for Han and Pishan, the festival where we celebrate our loved ones who have passed on. All right, let's start with Shek. It's a simple citrus salad. Shek is Mayan for a tossed together mix of things. We used to make it every year at the end of October. If you've never had hikama before, you should really try it. It's delicious, crunchy, and not too sweet. Whoa. <laughs> He's disappearing, where? Uh, okay, well, I'm not getting five stars. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Scoop the diced hikama into the mixing bowl with the knife and add the orange slices. With knife? Okay, wait, so... If we're going for realistic, we're going for realistic. What was that even? Cut the chili pepper in half and grind into powder using the molcajete and tejolote. What the hell? Okay, that was not that cut. <laughs> A proper molcajete will add real depth to the food. It will pick up subtle flavors over time as you use it. If you're lucky, someone older will hand one down to you. Make sure you take good care of it. Hmm. Add to the mixing bowl one spoon each of chili powder and cilantro. Ew. Grab the lime and squeeze twice into the mixing bowl. Top the mixture with one spoon of salt and stir the ingredients with a spoon. I don't want to eat this. Look at it. It looks molded and stuff. We use chinas or sweet oranges because their fragrance helps the soul of children find their way to the celebration. Okay. Put the mixture in the lake. Oh my god. Serve the dish cold and ring the bell. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Those flowers are called Shpoo Hook. I think you'd call them yellow marigolds. They're the flower of the dead. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Let's take a sniff. In Maya culture, ghosts don't eat food. But we do enjoy the aromas. You know, it's not bad. <laughs> Maybe you'll be good at this after all. <laughs> Okay, I... What? They talk trash, but actually writing good. All right. Kimak Olal. Welcome. You know, I had my doubts about you, but you've been doing all right. Let's see how you handle this one. Chukwa is a chocolate drink. It's sweeter nowadays, but this one won't be as sweet. Or chuhu as you're used to. Use wood to start the fire under the command. Pour the cacao beans onto the command. Roast until the shell pot cracks. Mm, 
nothing like the smell of roasting cacao. Cracks. Lift the whole comal to pour the roasted beans into a bowl. Grab each bean to pop the sh Okay, the comal is hot. Oh, looks like the skin is starting to pop. Those beans are done roasting. Time to remove the skin. Hey, you're letting things burn. No! <laughs> Grab each bean to pop the shell within the cacao nib. Oh, okay. Bring the bowl of nibs to the metate. We've used stones like these ones to grind cacao, spices, and corn for thousands of years. We call them ca. But these days, they're better known by their Spanish name, metate. The part you hold is the cab, and you should treat it like an extension of your hand. In fact, cab means hand in Mayan. Makes it easy to remember. Wow, that's so weird. Huh? Grind the cacao nibs into a paste with the cab, then smooth into a round ball. Cow? Right. Cut the chili pepper in half with the knife long way. See, now she explains long ways. Before it was just in half, and the game automatically cut in half, but not how I wanted. Grind the chili pepper halves into powder using the molcajete and tejolote. Bring the cacao paste and the ground chili pepper to the comal. water in the clay pot. These gourds are called chu. They grow all over around here. Hey. Add a vanilla bean to the clay pot. Vanilla beans are the fruit from a special kind of orchid. Did you know that? I've heard they're very expensive now because I think something to do with Disaster like in the Madagascar? It's very expensive now. Place the cacao paste and one spoon of ground chili powder into the vanilla water. <sighs> it's hard to say which is worse. Waiting for the chocolate to boil or waiting for it to cool so you can drink it. Then again, I never waited for it to cool. Pour all the hot liquid in the first frothing pot. Then pour back and forth between both once. Why? Oh my god, this is gonna be a struggle. Pour into a leg and wait for froth to rise. What? You want to build up a thick foam. Use this chocolate pot to pour the chukwa back and forth. That will build up a nice broth. I guess we did it. Empty the clay pot and bring it to the kamal. Make sure the fire is still hot. Pour a layer of corn, water to cover, and one spoon of lime powder in the clay pot. Place on the comal and bring to a boil. Holy shit, this is very complicated. Where are my sound effects? Can last 
for generations if you take care of it. We call them Samach. Whatever you call them, they're just no substitute for the seasoning they pick up over the years. A bit of family history right there in your tortillas. What? Oh my god, this is a disaster. <laughs> No one saw that. Use the estropajo to clean any remaining liquid off the metal. <laughs> Grind the wet corn with the cup on the metate to make masa. Oh wait, 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 wait. That's what she was saying. We've been grinding hooch like this for thousands of years. Well, we call it hooch. You can call it hooch or masa. <laughs> Not even. Smooth each ball and flatten with the rolling pin. Place the uncooked tortillas on the decorative plate. Cook the tortillas on the comal. When they puff up, tap them down. Look for the golden brown color. There's gonna be one small one. Damn, this recipe is complicated. Wait until the wa the tortilla pops up. That is when they have the best flavor. Place the finished tortillas on the decorative plate to serve. Look at those beautiful puffy tortillas. You see, like, there's a difference between cooked one and not, like, they puffed up. But I should tap them or something now. Oh well. Serve the tortillas and chukwa, and ring the bell. Eh, it was frothy. I tried my best, honestly. <laughs> Not half bad. You might have a knack for this. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs>